Ben Oquist, your thoughts on where this debate's at at the moment. Obviously, you're a, a big supporter of a market mechanism, but the government's ruling that out. What options do they have left? Well, they've got regulation. Uh, coal is on the way out. Um, Hazelwood is clo closing. Um, Anglesey, Port Augusta, Marmarang, Wallarang. Coal is closing. It's on the way out. Are we going to manage it in an orderly fashion that's going to bring down electricity prices, manage security, do a transition well that's good for consumers, that's good for jobs or good for the economy? As outlined by the chief scientist, the CSIRO, the AEMC, uh, uh, the energy market operator, the transmitters, the distributors, the generators, the retailers, all asking for an emission intensity scheme to help manage that transition in a way that we will put downward pressure on prices, as I said, and manage security and reliability in a, in a, in a good way. Unfortunately, um, the Prime Minister has ruled it out in what I think is a complete intellectual and economic shredding of his credibility to rule out a scheme backed by so many people that's going to manage the transition and our economy in the most affordable, reliable way. The Prime Minister has shredded his credibility. Uh, Frydenberg will survive, but the Prime Minister won't. And on top of that this week, to start floating a $1 billion subsidy, the world's biggest uh, export coal mine, the Prime Minister's credibility is in tatters and he won't survive. But the shame is for Australia's electricity uh, system it's consumers and businesses who are crying out for action. And it's going to have to be the states that uh, take up the slack if the Prime Minister won't do it, because otherwise uh, our, our, not just our energy system but our, our economy going forward is going to be in a mess. So 